Hello, 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 and welcome into the hourglass. Welcome if you are new. So we have this new moon in Leo season. Happy birthday to the Leos in the house. So if you're feeling playful, if you're feeling romantic, if you just feel the need to shine, go do you, honey boo boo. Take leadership of your life. Take leadership of your emotions. This could affect the Cancer, Aquarius, Leo energy, but doesn't have to be. You could be just vibing, operating, you know, mingling, playing with that Leo energy. So time to put yourself first. That may feel a little bit... Um, tense there with feeling a little guilty maybe i'm feeling selfish fuck that <laughs> mm. it's time to put a better you forward all right fuck who don't want to be on board with that excuse my seal amount i know some of you are like that's not ladylike okay cool Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Check. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. We're going to be spying on your person's energy. Well, not really, because if they're tethered to you and this is something that's in your energy, the cards will speak. My cards, uh, both tarot and oracle, is responding to the most dominant, strongest energy that I could pull from the audience. So it may or may not resonate with you at this time. It could be past, it could be future, it could even be present day energy, but I'm mostly pulling, I'm tugging on that present energy because I'm that's, that's just the type of reader I am. I pull on present energy. So let's see what's going on with your person in Leo season. Let's see how they're adapting or operating in that Leo energy. Mm, let's talk about it somebody's stepping out i'm hearing what is that steel pulse steel pulse stepping out i'm stepping out mm, 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 mm. it's coming to me in and out stepping out <laughs> all right let's see what's going on with your person i'm hearing fairness and compassion so this may be something that this person is trying to work through or they're going through a cycle that's teaching them to be fair and have compassion. I'm hearing woodwork. Something is coming out of the woodworks. You know that, that saying or somebody's actually working with a lot of wood. Carpenters. I'm also seeing like frame in a house. Maybe somebody's building a new house or somebody's working in real estate. Oh, surveying the land. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing, I, I heard like a car pull up. Like, you know, when you're in your home and somebody pulls up in your driveway, you hear like the brakes. I heard like that. And then I heard somebody say, just checking in to see how things are um, rolling or moving. So somebody's checking in. Somebody's going to check in. I don't know if that could be a hotel or reservations or something. Anyway, let's see what's going on with my viewers person. Let it be great. Hard work is paying off. So this could be a work horse Capricorn energy. Sea goat. And we also have expect powerful changes. So who shit. Your person may be eclipsing a lot of bullshit that is dimming their energy, their shine, and their power. I feel like somebody, some of you are dealing with someone that has been keeping what they've been working on the hush hush. That reminds me. So I was dreaming last night and I have many different dreams. I don't share them anymore on the channel, but I will be going back to doing that. I usually do that on Sundays where I allow or I open a comment box for viewers or the audience who wants to kind of chime in and kind of like, talk about their dreams because I'm very aware, you know, not everybody, uh, family is open to, uh, different things. You know what I'm saying? My family is very open, but I did keep, uh, studying and practicing tarot a secret for a while because I am very aware of the stigma that comes with tarot and reading tarot. A lot of people, it's against their religion or their beliefs or things that they have adopted. But anyway, I was dreaming and I dreamt that I was walking up behind this guy. Uh, I have a feeling I knew who it is, but it was a guy. His back was turned to me, and I, I could have sworn that he was painting something. I have this painting I, I, you know, I had to cop because I love abstract art. One of my, um, my hair clients, she is such a doll. She actually made me a painting as well. But anyhow, I'm getting off track again. Come back, hourglass. Come back to earth. 
right so i'm coming up on this guy this masculine energy and he's like really doing something i don't know if he was painting i don't know if he was molding something but when i came very close where i could see over his right shoulder he looked back at me so fast that it it kind of startled me i jumped back like oh my goodness his face was so passionate but aggressive and there was a lot of frustration and i was like what are you making and he he screamed he like yelled at me go away i don't need you to see go away so i was like oh my gosh <laughs> i feel like rejected right but then when i woke up I was trying to ask myself, what was your dream trying to tell me about this person being discreet? Were they being discreet? Were they being private or were they being secretive? And why did I felt why did I feel hurt when they didn't want me to see? Like what triggered me to feel almost like I felt uninvolved or excluded? So pay attention to things that happens in your dreams and your thought and your feels behind of it. What colors, uh, what things that you saw on the outside, because he was really like going at this thing and you could see like the muscle tense in his, in his shoulder. Like you, it's not like it was, oh my God, cut chiseled but you could see the tension the work being put in in this creation that this person didn't want me to see so i'm getting that some of you may be in a situation where this person is working their butt off this may be someone that's determined they're devoted all of their time their focus and energy is directed into this work because they're wanting a powerful change and it could start with the man in the mirror themselves all right so let's keep going capricorn energy that could be the devil card in traditional tarot and again that's the seagull so it's like it's like really committing to what you say you're gonna do no matter how ex uh, like how tedious it's like being committed even when you're no longer uh feel uh like you want to anymore that's what i'm getting so and I feel like this person's achievements is deeply connected or tied uh, to their ego or who they are as an individual. So I feel like this person works reflect how they feel about themselves. Mm. So if this person is like standoffish or they're ignoring you, maybe you try to reach out a few times and you felt like, oh, my goodness, this person is like too busy for me. I feel like when they do jump out or come out of the dark, the shadows, the crab hole, whatever it is, they want you to see what this hard work, uh, the results of this hard work. So I don't know if this is a trainer, a bodybuilder, or they're literally working on their image, their personality. I also feel like with the Capricorn energy, this person does not like to be controlled. They may avoid controlling people. I also feel like with this Capricorn energy, somebody may be looking for a mate that matches their ambition. Somebody's looking for a mate that matches their goals in life, financial goals, where they see themselves in the future. So Capricorn energy could be, um, you need to make a proper plan and execute it really well. This is going to come out as a powerful change. Somebody's working really hard to make their dreams a reality. This is a very positive, good omen about studying and teaching. So I don't know if some of you are waiting for a partner. This person wants to teach you things. All right. They want to learn from you as well. Some of you may be geeks or very sexy bookworms, nerds. Hey? Very ambitious, studious energy. I'm, I'm going to achieve this. That's what I heard. I'm going to achieve this this year. I'm hearing this year is my year. I have a lot of dreams, hopes, aspirations, and I have the ambition and the intention to get it done. Woo! I felt that. That was very, very powerful. It's like this person means what they say. That's what I got. This person means they walk in that walk. So they didn't talk it, but they walk in it. All right. So let's get down to more energies here. Let's see what's going on with your person with how they're feeling about this situation, a connection, relation or attachment with you. My viewers person, how is this new moon in Leo, Leo season affecting their person besides going hard at work? This person is working at on their personality could be their weaknesses oh this person suffers a lot 
this is something that they don't tell you maybe they suffer from a lot of failure oh they push their self extremely hard this may come naturally to them or they're really hard on themselves we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so this could be what's pushing your person the thought of being with you or the romantic feelings that they have with you they're working towards that I feel like they want to be a person that you feel very safe around. They may like to come up behind of you and kiss you softly or kiss your neck. Or there's a lot of pictures being taken where this person is standing behind of you. They like that feeling. They like to kind of cradle you or protect you. Hey. Some of you are meeting someone. You're going to meet this person. This is new. And they work a lot. So they may have like this, they run like a tight ship or they have like a tight schedule. But you may be wondering if this person wants to pursue you or you should pursue them. We're going to see about that. I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? Some of you um, may be flirting, but not too much. It's like, be friendly and kind, but not like raunchy and sexy until this person makes that move. Because I feel like, Anything triggers them to feel like they're being controlled. This is possibly why they work to finance themselves or they work for their own money. But they are thinking, and they could be at a job. I mentioned this in my first video. That's a no-brainer. They already mastered what they need to do at their job. So they have a lot of room to think or to fantasize while they're working. So you make this person heart skips a beat when they see you or they melt when they see you, they want to flirt with you. I'm hearing that they're trying to take action to flirt with you. But it's like they're so serious or they're so like dry right now. They're like they're tense. They need to relax. Oh, yeah. They want to bring their feelings to the surface or their feelings is coming to the surface. I want to romantically love on you is what I heard. You guys may have this the same hobbies or the same interests. Capricorn, potential partners for Capricorn. They adore mates that have equal or match their ambitions for life. It's like a power couple. You know, they don't like lazy lovers or lazy partners, hey? Oh my goodness. I'm hearing this is a new relationship. And there, you could expect powerful changes with this person. Oh, I'm also again, you know what? Don't let your romantic feelings blind you to some red flags, hey, or some sort of neglect because this person likes to work. So maybe you need to remind this person in a very um, professional, I'm hearing very professional way that, hey, sweetie, it's time to treat yourself. Take a break, my love. Let's go, you know, do something that, it's relaxing, but it has something to tie with work. So if this person is a foodie or a traveler, relax by traveling out of your town or trying a new restaurant or even like, I don't know, like talk about pricing or stocks. Maybe that's something that relaxes this person is talking about money though. <laughs> oh, money and what money could buy. How could we work towards that? Okay, so I'm getting if this is a new relationship, it may be moving a little too fast or this is an existing relationship. You guys need to have a new financial goal, something that you guys could work towards together. Let me see what else is going on with this new moon in Leo for my viewers person with this powerful change. Wedding. Ooh, somebody's serious about you. So they may want a serious commitment, but you may be out in the dark of this work that this person is putting in. So some of you, you could expect a proposal. It may be a rare event or this person is trying to be very unique in the way how they approach you with this proposal. Now, if that's moving too fast, I feel like this person... Um, they have like this, it's like, you know, they up to something because they have like this face, like, what are you doing? Nothing. But their face is like, mm, something not right. What are you trying to hold back? Like they're trying to bite their tongue from spilling something to you. But some of you, this person could actually be married and they're in a partnership with their spouse or this is you expect powerful changes, expect to be doing something together, working on a mission or money 
uh, some sort of new gold working together. I'm hearing they're going to spice it up. Somebody wants to spice up this thing between you. And the best thing they could think about is partnering up, whether it's in a career, a mission, or just really working together on the energy of your relationship, marriage. Some of you are like married to this person spiritually. Some of you, somebody has some doubts about marriage. It, it's something that bothers them and maybe they want to kind of work it out with you with the Capricorn energy in Leo. I feel like Capricorns are very great supporters in this energy as well. So this person may be trying to hype you up or they're really proud. I'm hearing my love language is to see you win. So this person may want to kind of involve themselves or invest themselves in whatever you have going on. I'm hearing them too. Maybe you have some sort of influence in whatever they're working on or maybe it's just all about you. And this person is like, they don't want to give you that information and you try to control them you use that to control them so this is possibly why they keep in uh these desires or these uh needs for like really committing to you you know i could come home to you every night type of vibe maybe this is a person that never thought that they would want commitment so serious before and they're doing that work to kind of ins they want you to see the results of this hard work that they have been doing so i don't know this could feel like a home that they're purchasing or this could literally be uh their personality what is going on with this hard work? What is this person working towards and this powerful change? True love. So they may feel like you're their true love. You're it. You may be not their first love, but you're their last love. And that's a big deal. This is someone that wants to kind of build their life around you with wedding. I'm also getting that this person may be skeptical because of all of the celebrity gossip. Or they may be around people that had very... Um, toxic marriages so they may be kind of like um it's like they're half like they're half and half head not really half and half but there is a concern about uh would my marriage reflect my parents own or I, it's like i don't want to be like my parents or i don't want to have the relationship or marriage like my parents and my friends something like that so we have pay attention to the red flags oh my gosh help me Help me. I swore. Listen, in my mind, I heard that there are codependency and addictions in this person's life. That could be uh, a red flag. It's like you see it, you know it, and it has the potential to snowball into something destructive. So maybe this person knows it. Maybe they're a person that's very, very aware of their weaknesses or places in their life that they need to kind of improve. Maybe you're someone, because it's a true love energy, you saw through and through this person, nothing is hidden from you. You may be someone that looks deeper into things, or you pay attention, and this person is, they know. They know that. So you may be a person that pushes this person to stretch. You challenge them to keep up in their game. It may be a lot of effort, or it may be extra effort to be with someone like you, but they're doing the necessary work, my love. Very, very ambitious in love. Some of you, you may have a gift. Uh, maybe you have a gift where you could connect to higher energies, or you have spirits that talk to you. I know some of you are like, what? Hello? Energy is everywhere. You have spirits. You have your ancestors that lay in dormant in your DNA. And they come out when you're sending out spiritual SOS. When you feel alone, these spirit, they're kind of like rising up to help you, to guard you, to protect you. So maybe you're someone that's very, I'm, I'm getting like very unique and almost holy in nature. I'm hearing protect him or her at all costs. Ew. So in this new moon energy of the Leo, your person is very, very aware of their red flags. And they're very ambitious into clearing that up or making it better, improving. This is a hard worker. Could be very stubborn. Oh, I'm getting the sea goat like going through some water. I'm all, it's like crossing the river. So your person may be right now uh, moving through water, but they're still very determined to push, all right? Walking against the grain or the rain. Tell me about this true love. Listen, when they met you, they wanted to change. Things change automatically when they set their eyes on you. It must be true love, right? 
you're someone that's not going to put up with this person's funky shit with the red flags and they know it and they love it. Maybe in the past they were like kind of like uptight about it and they groan about it or, you know, they try to go against it, but it makes sense. I heard, but you make sense. So maybe this person was living by a certain lifestyle of philosophy. And then when you came around, things just started to make more sense. Maybe this is something that they never opened up about. Maybe when this, this wedding card, maybe when they see you face to face, they're going to have like this heart filling proposal or things to kind of admit to you their emotional truth about how they feel about you. Vows, heart vows going to come out. Ooh, look at that. You're their yin to yang. This may feel like a higher level soulmate, but again, you're their life partner this person knows who you are you may wear feathers or a lot of spiritual signs and synchronicities started to happen when they met you again you brought this powerful change we see the circular energy or the circular shape here with the yin and yang you guys just gel well you're my twin you're my reflection you're my mirror you're my better half you're the one that i trust to lead me and vice versa a student or teaching studying here so maybe you taught this person uh, how to uh, improve for love, not just for someone else, but they're doing it for themselves as well. So you guys may have this beautiful synergy that's going on. It's very fiery or passionate, romantic, but it's also very emotional and soothing and calm to this person. You make them melt. Okay, so you make them melt with your touch or when you guys touch, your hand fit very perfectly in theirs. I mean, shit, I don't think you're their dream person or they never had a dream person. But if they did, it definitely would be you. They see themselves setting down this year or next year, I'm, I'm getting. So we have the garden, very beautiful energy, and we have worthiness. So your person may be struggling with self-worth. Again, maybe in the past, they knew that, oh my goodness, you're like, you're the one, you're, you're my person, but I don't feel worthy of you. There's a lot of improvements that this person may be silently keeping to themselves, hey, but they're working on it. I feel like they want to surprise you or they want to show you like, hey, I've been taking note on what you've been trying to tell me, hey. Uh, we have the 16th. Somebody's birthday could be on the 16th or somebody has a 16-year-old child or sibling, hey? Or you make them feel like 16. You make them feel like a teenager. There were seeds of love that was planted when they met you or uh, seeds of memories uh, of their love with you. And this is what happened. So you grew a garden in their heart. You may also own a garden. Mm, you may also own a garden. Okay, yeah, 15 and 16, or the 15th and 16th, maybe you guys make birthday really close months apart or something, or the same month. This person is a modern man. I'm hearing a classic man. I'm a classic man, right? So maybe they like suits, or when they clean up, they clean up really good. So your person may have been working on their stability, I am seeing fresh flowers that could talk about emotions here as well. But they're considering you a blessing. Maybe when you came into their life, things just became more abundant or more bounty. See all these fresh flowers and trees, these green trees. I don't know who is that, Nat King Cole. You know that song? I see dreams of... Hmm. <laughs> it didn't come to me, but you guys may know what that is. I'm hearing the truth is... You make me feel abundant. You help me to develop or want to be better in life. You, you, you entice me to want to maintain a healthy balance between us two or the two, us two. So you help this person to reconnect with those fresh flowers. You help this person to reconnect with their feminine energies. They may be spending more time in nature. They may be feeling more dreamy or even naive. Some of you, this person may feel very Disney. And that could have been a red flag for them. Maybe this person is in this Capricorn energy where they want to be very practical and nothing wrong with being practical. But when it comes to you, they feel very whimsical, dreamy, naive. Some of you fruits and vegetables, the harvest is coming up. Some of you have really healthy vegetations. This person is very passive. 
And I feel passive because with this Capricorn hiding what they're working on. So some of you may feel very neglected by this person, but they're working on something, baby. They're working on their garden for this true love energy that they sense with you. Now let's talk about the worthiness card. We see that it's a feminine energy, and that's why I said fresh flowers with feminine energy is hey. This person could be working on that. Uh, they see that they need to kind of, because um, this could be a weakness and a red flag. Your person believing that they don't deserve love or they don't deserve you. I'm hearing that, you know, to, to kind of show up in this true love energy, they have to be in a very powerful, healthy state of mind or a way of being. So this person knows what they're doing. They're getting a lot of loving reminders, signs and synchronicities from the ethers and they're trusting it. I'm hearing the ethers has spoke or the universe has spoke, has spoken. So they're taking a minute to reflect to reflect in the mirror, the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror. It starts with the man or the woman in the mirror. I'm hearing, don't expect me to be perfect. Let this person know that you love them. You, they deserve your love or they deserve to be happy. Maybe some of you may have walked away from this person because there were it was too much red flags and maybe they were really like snobby about it. Like I said in the beginning, they were like groan or ignore you or just get really quiet. But they were taking notes. They were taking in every, they may be holding on to every word that you say. And there goes that song. Is it by Lauren or Laura? You say, you say that I am loved, right? You say that I'm strong, but I feel like weak or feel nothing. You guys know that song. So this person believes, some of you, this person believes this is a true love soulmate relationship. And they feel like you guys are going to grow and evolve with that wedding card. I could, I could come home to you every night. I want it. I want to do it. That's why I'm working hard. Maybe they're hoping that it's not too late by the time they finish or wrap things up. I'm hearing no one else but you feels right. Ooh, some of you may have really cool fashion, uh, I feel like you refresh your look or you get younger. Yesterday I had a beautiful comment from someone. They say, every time I see you, you just get younger and younger. Ew, stop. <laughs> they want to please you. But don't expect this person to like hand you over their ambitions and power. They need that. They need that to get up on their financial game. That's really important to that person. So money Financial gains, having bills paid, financial security buys freedom is what this person believes in. So the more money they have to play around, the better is like the more fun they have when they play. So work hard, play hard type of vibe with your person. They want to be deserving of you. And I feel like you should let them work through what they need to work through so they can feel deserving of you. So even if you want to run and please this person, they need to build themselves up with the Capricorn energy. They need to feel financially sound and responsible. Let that person work what they need to work out to be a better person for you. Hello. So you may be missing them. You may feel a kind of neglected, but if you're in this yin and yang energy, marriage, true love energy, you know it, you know that they have some funky little shit about themselves that they need to take care of. You may be feeling that way too. You bring balance and harmony and abundance with that yin and yang card. You make them reflect. You make them grow. They love it. And it feels very loving. It feels like, yo, if anybody's worth my changes, it's you. So they're addressing some things that are causing imbalance, things that you may have touched on, that they may not have given you anything about. Some of you may be a very dominant female, and that's what this person needed. They needed someone to kind of check them, kind of put them in their place. You may have been too much in the beginning, but they can't get enough with the yin and yang energy. So they're feeling suppressed. And again, they don't like when people are very controlling. Some of you may have strong desires to be fully committed to with the wedding or the marriage card. Some of you, this person feels like you need to kind of 
at first they were like you need to change your perspective of that or you need to change how you feel about that but as time go by they really feel like you're deserving to have a full commitment you deserve all the happiness and love that that you could get or get, be given to you this person may be in a shitty mood or their feelings may be hurt for some reason. We're going to take a look. Because I'm feeling like their feelings may be hurt. So maybe this is a person that they, do, they don't like to feel flawed. <laughs> maybe they have a huge issue with saying when they were wrong. So they may just get really quiet. Let's see what's going on. So the, the backstory with my deck. This, this is one of my first decks that I ever worked with. This is the deck I use to kind of connect with higher energies, my ancestors, my higher self. When I need guidance and I can't speak to whomever, I go to this deck. This is one of the first. So uh, two nights ago, I was shuffling late at night, right at this table, and I'm shuffling, I'm going on bad, and the whole, the whole deck split open like a book, and it fell on the ground. And normally I would pick them up and rearrange them all right up or whatever. But I got this idea that I shouldn't. I should just pick them up reversals and all, right? So here we go. I read reversals because I'm a badass. So let's see what's going on with your person. Why do they feel... Oh, okay. We have the two of swords. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. We have lover is beautiful. So they may be torn with making a very life-changing decisions. They're trying to use their intuition. So in the past, because this is like the past tense uh, stock there or whatever. In the past, this person could have been like biased. They could have been very closed off to this connection. But again, they have gotten very loving reminders, signs and synchronicities from the ethers from their guardians if this is a person that believes in angels and guardian angels they know that this is a match made in heaven but again there's some confusion about what you want maybe you're well connected to nature divine and they wait for you they would always wait for this love because what it says what the most high put together no man could separate and they feel, I feel like they feel sad because they were trying to deny this for so long. And now they're vulnerable, they're open. I'm hearing that the most high or their spirit team broke open your person and allow them to see these codependency, these addictions, these red flags that could possibly, potentially kill this abundance with the garden. They feel you're reaching out to them. Yeah, let me tell you, this person may struggle with anxieties. Maybe they have um, like this restriction. It's like their anxieties get so get to be so much that they can't make a decision. So your person may be indecisive right now, or they're thinking back the past, the ghosts of the past. You know, this person may be haunted by the way how they treated you. They may be finally open up, opening up their eyes to see that they're working a little bit too hard or too much. Or it's like they had this financial goal and they lost track of what was important. I'm also feeling like uh, I'm hearing between me and you. OK, so it's like a secret between me and you. This true love energy has helped me to mature, has helped me to see where I need to grow up. New moons are all about clean slate. So this, this new moon energy in Leo may be giving your person a clean slate to start over or clean slate to kind of prove something had to you. Some of you may have thought that this person just wanted physical relationship or sex. They were torn between that as well. Is this lust? Is this love? I don't know. Some of you, this person may be still arguing with exes or they had a lover here that was very controlling. They can't sleep anymore. Or it's very, it's very, it's, it's, it's a task 
to go to sleep uh, because all this love energy, this romance, being with you, committing to you. How am I going to offer you this? You know, I'm working really hard. I, I'm anxious here. I'm only getting like four hours of sleep and then I have to get up. Sometimes this person may feel like they need to have a radio on or the TV needs to be on for them to sleep. I feel like they either have people that are against them and trying to fight them down or their anxiety is trying to fight them down. Bad dreams. You help them with bad dreams or there's dreams of being with you in the garden, the Garden of Eden. So they dream about being in a very luxurious, happy, fruitful, abundant, safe place with you. Somebody may be driving a motorcycle. We hear that motorcycle going by. So it's like, you know, when they wake up from this dream, it's so powerful. It's so emotional that it moved them to tears. Some of you could be have, uh, could have blonde streaks or red streaks or their strawberry blonde, uh, hair types going on here, brown hair, brown eyes, wear a lot of blue, light blues, three of wands. This person is reflecting heavily. On the things that they deny. The three of wands is a huge jumper card in cancer. And now we have in it. Oh, what, what book is this? It's not the right book. <laughs> now we're having it in Leo season. So let me go back to my um, present notebook. I am a scribe. So I scribe daily. Those of you that are new. Yeah. So your person wants to move forward. They're planning. They want to be free. They're not free from something. Hey. And that may be causing sadness. This person is in the middle journey. For some of you, you or this person is in the third half of a journey. The ones, they're holding on to some sort of sta stability or protection, but they have dreams, aspirations. They're looking uh, to the future. They're having hindsight. So maybe hindsight, they're kind of regretting that they denied this connection or they put work before love. So I don't know if they're paralyzed with doubt some days and then other days they're like determined to push forward or they push forward regardless of the doubt. Somebody's very nostalgic here. They're holding on to some sort of memory if you guys were together or you guys had or they cherish just every time they were with you. They're unhappy with a choice that they made concerning you guys or a choice that they did not make. Somebody's moving to a higher level of spirituality here with the three of wands. Oh, some, you know, that wedding card, this person is reflecting on the commitment that they want with you. And they're reflecting on the red flags or the addiction, their funky ways that could screw that up. Holy shit. You got this person thinking hard. They have a new goal or somebody has a new couple goal that they want to try they don't like when you're not sleeping with them or in their bed. They need more time to think about the, or plan about the future. This person is in their feels, honey boo boo. King of cups. So they could have been emotionally manipulative. This person could have had a foggy brain. Or they were just really confused and haunted. Maybe this person, because this is my player card out of all the kings i feel like the king of cups could be a player we have water we have gemini we have aries we have libra strong gemini or double gemini energy hey i feel like this person is super emotional but they're doing a great job with being balanced they're maturing honey this person is maturing and they're choosing to mature by paying attention, strengthening their weaknesses. They have a lot of love to give you. <laughs> They're giving me the sexy eye. So they may have a sexy face or they have really intense gazes that they give you. You could tell from their eyes how much they feel for you. They could feel your emotions. And they're, they're confused whether it's theirs or yours. Ooh, snips. So your person may want to be, I'm hearing they want to be faithful or their, their work. So you know what? If this person was a Dong Wong or a player, 
I feel like they did it all. You guys may have to travel overseas to be with this person. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords and the King of Cups. What's going on there? Ooh, powerful change. The Ten of Cups. This person loves you. They're doing it for love. This person may have came from an unhappy uh, past. And because they came from an unhappy community or home, they were making decisions based on that training. And it caught, you know what? Maybe they were always a worker. They always worked really hard. This brought them happiness. Okay, so true. Okay, so their first love was making shmoneys and sex in the honeys. That's what I heard. <laughs> but they met you and things immediately started to change. This is somebody that understands unconditional love now. They are worthy they may have woke up crying one day. They felt something very powerful in their heart. They can't hide this anymore, person. They want to be deserving of this love. So they're doing the necessary adjustments or they're working really hard on their weaknesses and flaws. They had it all. They had it all. They felt really happy with the yellow energy. Sun sign may be a water sign. Or their rising sign is a water sign. Oh my gosh. They want to give you this love so bad. Page of cups. We have almost the whole cup uh, family here. This person, they can't escape. They may be, a, they may have been an escape artist or somebody that was just reluctant to look at their flaws. Their emo, they have, you know what? They could have been faking something, hey, faking, denying, like they didn't know what was going on. I know more than you know. This person is a psychic. When they have a sixth sense because they love you. That's how they know because they can't tell they can't tell where your energy or emotions start and when it ends and where theirs begin. The yin and yang energy. Oh, I'm gonna cry. You move them to tears, baby. I mean, they probably have like this lump in their throat. Wow, they want to flirt with you. Mommy, papi, they want to flirt with you. You have teach this person to honor their feelings and to speak from their heart. Compassion. Wow. Our cup. So this person is talking about we and our, not me. Our. So they want to share. Oh my gosh. They feel like you are them and them are you. I'm going to I'm going to start crying. I'm also hearing that the divine showed them their light and their darkness. It's almost like you're their oracle, you're their angel. You receive divine messages and they know it. So it's almost like this person they need someone that's divinely connected to to positiveness, to goodness. Oh, they, they let an opportunity get away. So they're letting opportunities move on without them. They're no longer looking at their opportunities. They're seeing beyond that. This love is far away. But that doesn't mean nothing. Distance and time doesn't mean shit. They cry about you. They wish that they could have just give you the love that they were feeling, but they deny themselves. And this person may be hurting. You know, after making money and getting to that symbol of success, this person is feeling empty. They're emotional and they can't let go. Who lavender, lilac. They want to nurture that bod. Your person... Because they're in their emotional body. They're in this page of cups, gardener, energy, or worthiness would pay attention to the red flags. So they have fixations. They may be coming to this enlightenment that they have been refusing their inner child and that hurt them. Their inner child that comes out with you. This person could also be very ma manipulative. I'm in, uh, emotionally immature. You helping them to grow up. 
they see innocence in your eyes or their innocence hair the same passion it's mutual the joy is felt you make them feel like a teenager 15 16 and they try to control that you make them feel very tender they're emotionally involved with you my love they have some good news they want to tell you some good news they want to share something that's very very but they feel guilty because of the things that they did or you know they put a lot of or right now they're feeling kind of held back and distraught stressed out because they can't come to you right now because there's work that needs to be put in some of you may be feeling emotionally wholesome or emotionally balanced and they just want to add more happiness to you. So this person wants to add more happiness to your life. They don't want to be your whole happiness, but they want to add more happiness to you. I feel like this is somebody that's going to make love to you very slowly, very tenderly. Like it's like very intense. Like I want you to feel how much I love you. This person is coming back better. They're going to have a lot of love to give you. Maybe you were too much in the, in, the, in the past, but they can't get enough of it. And they don't want to be separated from their happiness. You're contributing to this person's ultimate happiness. <gasps> Talk about it. Let's get two cards about how this person is feeling about the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. This person might weep. They might weep when they see you. They might get, maybe they were super emotional when they were with you the last time and they try to contain that. I see you everywhere. Dang. They see you everywhere. Even when they close their eyes. Destiny guiding me into my purpose. I might cry. This love is too good to be true. <gasps> you guys. You guys, if you are such a beautiful soul, don't ever change that about yourself. Love like you've never been hurt. Keep doing it. Keep being ambitious. Ambitious in love. Keep being that truth revealer. Keep reflecting to people what they need to work on to be better. Maybe you have a very gentle compassionate approach to this person and they couldn't help but to fall in love with you i feel like they're willing to walk on swords to get to you it's like you don't know what i'm going through to be here to show up for you oh my god this person wants to marry you you are worthy of all the love and happiness and they want to give that to you they're sorry for denying this, but they had to make sure that this was their truth. They had to make sure that this was the love that they need. My candle is going out up top. <laughs> so you guys, big up on yourself in the comment box below and let me know how is this person sending you messages? Because they're sending you messages as well to remind you of their love and to remind you that they are putting in that work. Comment in a comment box on the miracles or the divine cosmic messages that are streaming through from this. Per per this is a powerful, true love. Mm, you make them feel rich internally hindsight i'm hearing hindsight looking back i wish i never denied what i was feeling because it hurt me it hurt me so bad when they're at work they're coming up with a lot of different scenarios because they want to share they want to become this powerful power couple for you but they're not showing you their emotions until they have fulfilled some sort of purpose. That's what they're working hard to do. And when they close this up or when they feel like they have done enough, the powerful changes will just start th streaming through. Very powerful. I'm hearing a powerful cleanser, salt bath. Uh, this person may want to bathe with you or they like water, seafood, sushi. Could even want to meet you on a beach. I'm hearing skinny dipping or having sex in the outdoors, in gardens, 
it's like oh my goodness in the woods in a picnic something and then it, it just goes into making love all right so ooh, i love this feeling I love this feeling. And as a Libra, you know, we always get this um, stereotyping that we run away from very intense, deep emotions. But that is not true. I have a Scorpio in Venus and I love this. I love, love, love intense, deep love. And, you know, show me. Show me that it's real. Show me how much you want me is what I'm getting. Or I'm going to show you. This person may even cry. You know, they may not even be showing you that they cried. While being with you or making love with you. They want a peace offering. So yeah, I love it. Comment in the comment box. Like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.